The internal energy is the sum of microscopic kinetic and microscopic potential energies of the molecules. An ideal gas is assumed to have no intermolecular forces of attraction, hence zero microscopic potential energy. The kinetic energy is 3 to nkt with n number of particles, Boltzmann's constant k and the thermodynamic temperature t. Therefore, the internal energy of an ideal gas is proportional to its thermodynamic temperature. By the ideal gas equation of state, PV is equal to nRT. So initially, N1R is 6.7. Finally, N2R is also 6.7. Therefore, N1 is equal to N2. Hence, the number of moles and therefore, the mass remains the same. From the previous part, we can get the number of moles equal to 0 0.807 moles. Mass is equal to number of moles multiplied by molar mass and we get 16.125 grams. Therefore, the specific capacity of the gas we measure at constant volume is 0 0.508 joules per gram per Kelvin. By the first law of thermodynamics, the increase in internal energy is the sum of the thermal energy supplied to the system and the work done on the system. At constant pressure, the gas will expand doing positive work by the gas. Hence, the thermal energy supplied to the gas will not only increase the internal energy and therefore the temperature, but also do positive work.